if you would, and then we'll open up for questions. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, um, you know, obviously disappointing to not find a way to win that second game. You know, it's just hard to sweep a doubleheader. And, um, you know, we had some chances, and I thought once we got 4-4, four, four, you know, we were in great shape to win that game. I liked Crawford Wade as a good matchup against those guys. Obviously, um, you know, we need to score in those later innings. And, you know, Craw probably needs to, um, you know, we had a leadoff walk and then we don't field a bunt, um, kind of a little slow getting rid of a, of a bunt and cost us a run there. And then, um, you know, just didn't find a way to punch across the tying end or winning run. But um, obviously really happy with the first game victory. Um, you know, clutch hit Shane Mutz, um, two out single, Brock Wilkin, two out single to give us the, uh, you know, kind of some insurance there. And uh, and obviously Cam Anasi came in and slammed the door. So, you know, happy with, with obviously the game one win and, and coming from behind, uh, you know, we were it's kind of playing from behind all day today. And that's, um, you know, that's, that's tough to do in this league. Tom, given the way that you guys battled back and, and got the bats rolling really late innings in the first game, was it, could you feel the deflation when they come out and hit a first inning grand slam in the second game and you guys are right back to being down a, a few runs there? Yeah, a little bit. I think more than anything, it energized Notre Dame, you know, quite honestly. I mean, I, you know, I, I think we felt like we were going to score um, and, and we weren't worried about being able to come back from that deficit. But at the same time, I think it, you know, after a tough loss in the first game, I think it really energized, you know, Notre Dame and the other side and kind of gave them, some comfort and gave their pitcher some margin for error, which is obviously a good thing to have. So again, you know, in that situation, we walk a guy and we just, we, well, I mean, the second hitter of the inning, we just made a bad O2 pitch. He gets the first hitter out and then, you know, uh, just makes a bad O2 pitch on the second hitter. He singles and then we walk about us on four pitches and, and then we get a big strikeout and, uh, and then fall behind, um, you know, and, and uh, just kind of lay a 1-0 fastball in there. And, he, you know, young man put a good swing on it. In general, what were your thoughts on uh, the, your two starters today? You know, I thought they were solid. I mean, I, I you know, again, um, probably didn't throw the ball as well as they did last week, um, which is really to be expected. I think the second weekend of the year is usually, you know, a little bit of fatigue um, that you that you can kind of need to push through. So I wasn't surprised they didn't throw it as well as they did last week. Will, Will early in the game, Will wasn't landing that breaking ball like he did last week. And and Cuse either. I mean, the first, you know, really four innings of the game, Ryan, um, you know, just didn't throw enough breaking ball strikes um, and uh, to get them off of his fastball. And then, you know, once he started landing that breaking ball, you know, those, you know, that fifth and sixth inning, he was, he was pretty dominant in those innings. So, um, you know, again, not surprised that they weren't as sharp this week as last week, because it's kind of a normal thing. I was kind of surprised to not see uh, Pierce Bennett out there. Is, is he okay? Yeah, you know, we, we've got some some guys out right now with um, with some COVID slash contact tracing. So we've we've got a good number of guys out right now. And and um, and uh, so we're you know, we're pretty well shorthanded here for the next couple of weeks. How many is a good number, Tom? <laughs> What's that? How many is a good number? Um well, I guess technically just four, um, you know, which but but all four guys that are our key key players are you allowed to tell us who they are yeah eric adler um and uh adam Ciceri, pierce bennett and uh are out right now and uh and Derek crumb is is out for the rest of the season actually um and then we learned um, tonight that Tony Menendez is out for the rest of the season as well. So, um, so yeah, it was it was a, it was a tough day uh, for for the Deeks for sure. And Drew Kendall's out for the rest of the season. So we're, you know, we've got um, you know we we've got to get healthier. We're not going to get all the way healthy, but we've got to get healthier here soon. Are these all COVID, Tom? Or no, I, I know no, Tony no. is elbow. Tony's Tony's elbow. Um, and uh, and Derek's violation of team rules, and uh, and then the other guys are um, are COVID, and then well Drew's Drew's injury as well. Drew had, Drew had uh, hip surgery. Drew Kendall. Tom, did did you get an explanation on the Shane Munns like hit by pitch deal? 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, he said that the pitch was in the strike zone, which I find hard to believe. Um, and um, and and quite honestly, um, you know, I, you know, again, I, I think we we probably need our, our replay camera system. I don't think is as good as it needs to be. It's 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 pixelated, and I think we need to figure out a way to get the ESPN feed, um, you know, in that in that closet, so the umpires have a better look. Thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. See you, guys. How are we doing? Hey, Chris. How are you? Nice to see you, Connor. Good Good to be here this time. Yeah. Uh, I guess the overall feelings of, of battling back to win a game that you guys trailed throughout and then and then the feeling of not being able to get it done the second game there. Yeah, I thought we battled hard today. Um, I mean, both games we uh, we grinded up bats, and you know, you know, obviously didn't get the second result we wanted. But um, you know, all in all, I thought we battled, and and offensively, I don't think it was a huge problem. I think it was just you know a couple couple plays we didn't make, and uh, yeah. Chris, you talk about a couple plays, but it seems like occasionally it's just an extra an uh, extra base given to the opponent. And, right. and those things just kind of seem to pile up in snowball times, right? Right, and and also their uh, their grand slam obviously put them ahead um, by a lot uh, by four in the first inning, put them put them uh, up early and, and uh, kind of won them the game, you know, if you, if you think about it. But um, yeah, we can't give them extra bases, and, and we got to play uh, better baseball uh, defensively, obviously, both games. Um, but offensively, as I said, I think we th think we battled pretty well. Chris, at what point do we start worrying about your boy Bob there behind you in the lineup? It seems like he's struggling a bit. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think he, uh, you ever have to worry about him. He's, he's a good baseball player, and he's, you know, he's always going to be a feared hitter, and people are going to respect him. So I think he'll, uh, I think you'll see him come along pretty soon, sooner than later. How important is tomorrow's game? I mean, I know it's, you know, you, you guys have 36 ACC games on the schedule. You've played two of them. But I, I, that I, first ACC win mean, means what to y'all? Yeah, I mean, any ACC um, wins. I mean, any wins in general. Yeah, but any win, ACC wins um, mean a lot to us. And in this first one, we need, we, everybody really wants to get it really bad. So, I mean, uh, as you'd expect. So, uh, I can't really, um, you know, can't really describe how bad we want it. But we, we, we want it really bad. <laughs> and uh, against Notre Dame, I think we need to, uh, you know, because – they're, they're a team that we know we can beat, so um, we, we got to get this this one tomorrow for sure. Chris, kind of like from a mental standpoint, you know, Coach Walter just went up with us over the, the four guys who are out because of COVID and losing Tony Menendez for the season. Uh, did that guy's kind that kind of wear on you guys entering the game, or were you all pretty locked in regardless? Yeah, we, we, uh, we didn't find out um, about Antonio until after the game. Uh, but actually a few minutes ago, I found out, but the, the four kids that have COVID, obviously, you know, that affects us a little bit, but I think the guys that are in the, that, that were in the lineup uh, grinded pretty hard and, and, uh, but yeah, it will, it will be nice to get those guys back as well. And obviously, you know, uh, we're keeping an eye on them and, and staying safe ourselves. So. Did you get thrown out on the base pass twice today? I did. <laughs> That's a great question. I did. Um, the first time I was safe and the second baseman admitted it. So, you know, you can think what you want about that. But, uh, the second one was just, I, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be a double and it, and, uh, it was off the wall. It's just a, sh a small ballpark we play in, I guess. Um, usually it helps you. This was probably the one time in, in all of my uh, baseball career that it's kind of hurt me a little bit. <laughs> well, what so, it's uh, worth, we didn't see a good replay of the one in which you thought you were safe. And the one that you were camped out at second base for like five minutes later, we didn't see a good replay. So I don't know if the umps had a good replay of it or not. Yeah. Well, they said they didn't, they couldn't uh, see, but yeah, there was no, there was no angle they had on it, but, but uh, I confirmed from the, from the second baseman who tagged, or short, yeah, second baseman who tagged me. Um, so I, I did a little swim move over him. So, uh, so I was in there. Where did, where did you learn that move at? I, it was, I, I winged it. It was just on the spot. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't learn it anywhere. What What's the key to coming back tomorrow and grabbing the series? Um, I, I think just playing solid baseball. It's not, it's not anything special. Um, not anything in particular that we need to do. Just grind up that with solid defense and, and uh, that'll win us a game, I think. You guys good? good. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.
Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.